Hello, I'm Roger Smith, and this is the first in a series of videos on my Tesla coil projects. Please be advised that many of the projects here use high voltage power sources that can be very dangerous to work with. I do not recommend that anybody do these kind of projects unless you have a good understanding of safe practices for working with high voltage electricity. In this first video, I'm going to give you an overview of my largest Tesla coil. It's a DC resonant charging Tesla coil powered by two microwave oven transformers. It uses about 3 kilowatts and then here I get sparks about 5 feet long. Uh, I'm a little limited on space so I'd probably do a little better if I had more room. Uh, in the future I'm going to follow this up with some more videos that go into more detail about the different components and on the theory of operation. I'm going to start out here by giving you a rundown of the schematic of my Tesla coil. Uh, sorry about the lightning and thunder in the background, <laughs> but I guess it is appropriate for <laughs> this mad scientist experiments. Uh, yeah, well, later on we'll we'll run the coil with the with the thunder going, and have, maybe that'll add to the effect. Uh, start out here. We got the two microwave oven transformers hooked in series. The 240 volts coming in, and they're 2,000 volts each, so we get. 4,000 volts AC uh, coming out and it goes into a voltage doubler circuit which is converts the voltage to 8,000 volts DC. From there we go through our charging choke and across the charging choke I got a, a safety gap which is there to protect the charging choke if the voltage gets too high it arcs out and uh, protects the charging choke from from uh, burning out internally. Uh, after the charging choke we have a, a diode and it's there just to keep current from feeding back from the Tesla circuit back into the power supply. Then we have a filter choke, which is just an air core inductor to uh, keep transient spikes from getting into the power supply circuit. And now we have our Tesla circuit. This is pretty typical. We have a static spark gap in series with a rotary spark gap. The primary capacitance is 0 0.04 microfarads. We have 10 turns in our primary coil. Uh, we're going on to the secondary coil. The secondary coil is wound on 6 inch PVC plastic tubing. Uh, we have 1,300 turns of number 22 gauge wire. Uh, the diameter is 6 inches and the coil length is 35 inches. On top we have a real big toroid. Uh, big toroids really make a difference with, with this size coil. Uh, Real big difference. Now you'll get to see what all this stuff looks like. Uh, to start out we have a, a 240 volt outlet. And our power goes through a contactor. Uh, this thing gets switched on and off remotely. I'm on the other side of the room when I run it. <laughs> uh, got two microwave oven transformers diodes for the voltage doubler circuit. Of 
capacitors and I got bleeder resistors across the capacitors to drain the charge off. The charging choke with the safety gap and there's the diode tubes. Uh, there's four of them in parallel and I got a converted microwave oven transformer being used as a filament transformer with six turns of coax cable uh, it's insulated real well so that insulates this thing from ground now from from here all that goes into the Tesla coil over here I got the uh, rotary spark gap pulled away here so you can see the the rotary spark gap wheel it's a phenolic disc with electrodes along the outside that make contact with stationary electrodes there's a motor for the spark gap This is a primary capacitors. It's a series parallel arrangement. Uh, gives me 0.04 microfarads. The 3 8 copper tubing for the primary. Uh, tapped at 10 turns. And secondary, which is wound on a 6 inch PVC. Uh, tube uh, 35 inch winding length uh, wound with number 22 gauge wire uh, for 1,300 turns and there's the toroid made out of window screen and there's the uh, the static spark gap, uh, copper cylinders, uh, closely spaced. Okay, and now what you all have been waiting for, I'm going to fire this Tesla baby up here and uh, we'll get to run it. Uh, you can see the sparks and the arcs. Uh, so, enjoy. Thanks for watching.